Well guys, that's my Easter egg radio controlled eggmobile. <laughs> um, I'll show you some clips of the build. I'm using an in motor and gearbox from the Connex series. So I actually have no control over the forwards and backwards. I just switch it on and let it go. But I have put a servo and a receiver and a battery pack so that I can actually do the steering. But I didn't bother about the forwards and backwards. I just thought I'd let it run round in circles. And that's it lots of eggs and that's actually a wind-up chick serves no purpose but I thought you might be a bit of fun sitting on top so I'll show you the a few clips from the build hi guys just making a little project for Easter Something simple. I think it'll be a rubber band powered car. Haven't quite decided whether it'll be rubber band powered or electric powered. But I think it'll be rubber band powered. All I'm doing is using these wheels that I made from plastic discs. They actually come from VHS video cassette tape spools. I've hot glued small plastic bottle tops in the middle and then I made a hole in there for a barbecue skewer to go through for the axle and then I've got some styrofoam eggs I've cut them in half or whatever you want to call that division there's actually a seam along there which was easy to cut down and I've glued them either side of the wheel so we have wheels made of eggs. So I'll do another two and then I'll decide what the body's going to look like. These have got a seam around them from the moulding so I should be able to cut straight down there. glue on there. I'm using Gorilla glue, Gorilla glue at the moment, although hot glue would probably do. Any sort of glue that doesn't actually dissolve the styrofoam. And I'll cut enough of them to go round. These were slightly larger and I only needed five of them. I think I might need to space these so I can get six. just the wrong size. <laughs> so I have to have a bit of a gap or trim them a little bit so they fit in a bit tighter. I'm taking my time over this build. It's been a couple of days since I did any work on it. I've got the wheels ready and I was going through the junk on the floor here. I got this box full of Connects 
um, stuff. That's one of these things you click together to make uh, various toys. Got some wheels, that sort of thing. And it's also got this little electric motor and gearbox. And I thought, I haven't done anything with that since I bought it in a charity shop. So why don't I use the gearbox for my egg-based car. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make those holes a bit bigger. So instead of having barbecue skewers through there, we can use this as the axle. I have to figure out some way of attaching this to the rest of the bodywork. But we'll have a little electric powered egg mobile. For the front axle tube, I've just cut up a ball pen because I want something a bit stiffer than the normal drinking straws that I use. So that's the front axle tube. Normal barbecue skewer is the axle. But I'm thinking of actually giving it steering. That's why I want the stiffer tube there. So I'll attach something here so that we can have some sort of steering. That's just an odd bit of wood that I used on another project. Won't get much steering out of it. It'll only be a small turn. Let's see what we can do. But I'll glue another tube at right angles to that so that will be the pivot point. Slight change in plan. I'm now going to use a couple of bits of bamboo cane as the main chassis. I've got them wide enough at the back there so I can hot glue them on the outside of the motor and gearbox. And I've brought them together at the front. This um, wheel or pulley thing here, that's out of a kitchen drawer unit. It's the pulley that makes the drawers go in and out smoothly. And I've just hot glued the ball ball pen tube onto it and I'm going to wrap some wire around it to hold it on tight and then put a bit more hot glue on it but that will give us the flexibility for the steering so I'll just let the hot glue cool down a bit say so wrap some wire around there and then put some more hot glue on it to make it really tight and rigid this is the wire I'll use, beading wire it's called. It's just some cheap 34 gauge wire. Doesn't really matter, all I'm going to do is wrap it round. Cross it over and wrap it the other way. Do that a few times to give it a bit of strength then fill it up with hot glue again. Well, it's coming together a bit. So I've just hot glued these bamboo canes to the motor and gearbox. And then we've got our steering here. I'm very tempted to put radio control on it to do the steering. I was just thinking of having it so you could set it to go around in circles. But it would be very easy to add a receiver and a servo just to push the 
the steering axle around a bit. So I might do that. That's the wire that I wrapped around it and then put hot glue on it to hold it all in place. And then the idea is to cover everything in all those other eggs. 